Boston, but Davis has been a great addition to the Nuggets this year. Well, he's averaging 16 points a game in his career. There's that cutter again from the opposite side of the floor. The Celtics have some inexperienced people out there in Lewis and Shaw. 7.15 remaining in the first half. We're tied at 41. Thompson doesn't get the basket, but will go to the line. And, and Parrish up front. Against five, and he's still going <laughs> to launch it. Down. He's approaching his three-point attempt as he set last year. Paxson and has played maybe one of his best games of the season thus far. Well, we're talking about a guy that's been around, though. Heavy contributions at Chicago and San Antonio. This next two minutes for the end of this quarter, Denver has got to regain their tempo here right now. Get some good shot off. It's hit by Paxson. Denver kept it in bounds. Under two minutes to go in the third. New shot clock here, so they, they have to take their time. Rasmussen lost the ball, and the Celtics down by three. They were down by seven, and has two. Second timeout called by Doug Moe, who is screaming at her own lane on the Denver sideline. Road reacts to this surge by the Celtics. Denver's won only six games away from home this year. Five on the shot clock. Paxton with a great defensive play. Bounces it to Lewis. And Boston. Once you'll see Jimmy Paxson strip Alex English right there. Now that's the third strip during this quarter for Paxson and then giving a layup opportunity at the opposite end. Everything, and there's the basket that gets the last shot right now. There's the time remaining, 89-87, the Nuggets lead, although the Celtics have come back from a 14-point deficit and tasted the lead in this quarter. Yeah, they want to get English here. Either English or Blair has this. Oh, Paxson on a steal. He, he stripped Jerome Lane and gets the The opera is over in Boston Garden now. That a great one. Jimmy Paxson with another reach-in grab. But watch the wraparound dribble here as he gets by Alex English. There it is. Change the defense, turn that defensive man around, and then lay it up on... ...professional player, and you have tools that you can go either way, especially on any type of a crossover, and then be have present... Denver has four full timeouts available. Boston just two really timeouts at 20. Here's a steal. Paxson. Big basket. The Celtic defense does it again, and Denver will call a timeout. And here is the big defensive play again, again, by Jim Paxson. It was an unexpected pass from Shays to the wingman. The wingman was changing direction and left in the game. Shays with 22, English with 27, the leading scorers for Denver. They're going to use that clock. Well, and Denver will have foul. to foul, and Hanslick will foul. Cutter, because Danny Shays was open going down that lane. He, he shed his man. Jackson is going for a 17th point of the game, coming back from a groin pull and playing an important role off the bench. And what about Kelvin Upshaw in his first game in a Celtic uniform? Four for four from the field in eight points. Hanslick. And the rebound by Shaw, and that'll do it as the Celtics finally get back to 500 with a victory over Denver. A well-earned victory by the Celtics who had trailed by as many as 14 points. And for Jimmy Rogers and company, Boston is 30 up and 30 down on the season. And it's been a tough year.